All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, we're going to talk about in our video right now. We're going to talk about uh, responding to user actions. We're again in the Access VBA tutorial, and uh, we're talking about responding to user actions. Number one, we're going to learn about creating an event procedure. Number two. We're going to add an event procedure to a form. Number three, we're going to respond to user actions programmatically. Number four, we're going to perform specific tasks by using the do command object. So, uh, and a lot, probably a lot more we're going to cover uh, as we go along. So, I encourage you all to, to uh, look into all these videos and you'll uh, guarantee to learn a lot so first of all uh, first of all we have uh, the on the screen in front of you a form called FRM customer labels now in an a rapid application or event program like access we have different different thing where we can get out of the normal structural programming uh, flow of things and go into uh, they were doing event event based programming so uh, events can be like preview click uh, clicking the button is an event uh, swap it switching in between these two these two options is an event Clicking from the drop down menu is an event. Okay, we have an on change event or a drop down event or a select event. Here we have a frame change event that we can respond to. Here we have a click event or a mouse over type of event. So there are various, uh, various things you can. Uh, various events you can program towards so access just a little bit of history here access stores it's it's derived from a from the basic programming language B A S I K put out by Bill Gates a long time ago to make it easier for the user to uh, to program so he came up with this this language called basic and, uh, and that's pretty much what it is it got out of the, uh, the structured programming language normally your flow is from top to bottom so in a uh, in a module or procedure your flow is from top to the bottom and the that's what the uh, the basic language is based on it's it's procedural but VBA now has this uh, separate separate portion of it with event event based uh, event based procedures. Like I was telling you before, the, each object has its own uh, things that it responds to. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna demonstrate what this is in just a moment. Now. In a pr typical procedural applications, the application controls which forces of code to run and the sequence in which they run. Application execution starts with the first line of code and follows a predetermined path through the application, calling procedures as needed. So as we go down, we'll say, okay, and this this part of this procedure we're going to call this procedure and then we jump back to the procedure for the next lines and then we go ahead and call the next procedure and then we go back so it's a we're getting exiting the procedure going back into the procedure exiting going back into the procedure as needed so we need an event event driven application execution does not follow a predetermined path but it instead uses different codes that respond to different events. Events can be triggered 
why the user's actions by messages from the system or from the applications or from inside the application. The sequence of events determines the sequence in which the code runs. Therefore, the path through the application's code can differ each time the program runs. The essential aspect of event-driven programming is to write code, okay, and it's real important, write code that responds appropriately to the events that may occur in an application. VBA or Visual Basic Applications makes it easy to implement an event event driven programming model, which it is. It's uh, it's very easy because uh, your your application when you click on that to respond to the event, it automatically formats the the framework for the code. It formats the framework for the code automatically. Now you could write write code to respond to events and that's what I just went through it just just uh, just a bit ago and uh, we're going to cover in more detail when we come back so stay tuned and uh, we'll we'll come back to to where we're at